This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today. I'm in Midlothian, Virginia. Today we're gonna to take a look at new construction. Today was actually our walkthrough for our pre-drywall inspection. So we are here with the inspector. The homeowners were here uh, and I was with them. And the inspector is gonna give us an idea of, of some of the things he looks for. A lot of people don't know that with new construction, it is extremely important to have a home inspection. The inspector is going to go into a little detail of why we do that. Uh, I'm actually, actually going to also ask him about radon. Radon is something that is important that actually falls under the radar for a lot of buyers here locally, uh, but it's extremely important and we'll get a little bit of information uh, from him. Uh, as you can see, other homes are currently underway. Uh, typically a builder will uh, do a one section at a time and that's exactly what's happening here in this cul-de-sac all right here we are uh our home inspector extraordinaire how you doing sir doing well wonderful if you would be kind enough to introduce yourself for us hey cameron van owner ckc home inspection okay very good and what did we do today give us an idea of what your role was today with the uh, home inspection pre-drywall so we did a pre-drywall inspection which is very important Pre-drywall is important because we get to check for any defects before the drywall goes up, which means that those defects are concealed. And if they were major defects, you wouldn't know it until they show themselves years later, then that could be a very costly issue. So um, what we do with pre-drywall, we check um, and make sure the structure is good. So like, for example, we have this nice porch overhang. So from this area to that area, it's its own entity. So a couple things that we check for is to make sure that everything is intact, our fasteners are good, our connections are good. Um, we wanna make sure our load, or our beam is properly resting and supporting um, and stuff like that. Also with the pre-drywall, one thing is important, make sure the vapor barrier is good. We have flashing around our windows and doors. Flashing, flashing actually stops water from penetrating the home, which is very, very important. Um, so that's what we do for a pre-drywall. On the, um, like this particular unit on the back end, we have some negative grading. You definitely want to catch that beforehand because you don't want water to build into your crawl space and have long-term foundation issues and mold and mildew and stuff like that. Um, so that's what uh, we do for a pre-drywall on the um, outside. So we'll go in and I'll show you some guys, some things to look for. All right, we're behind you. I gotta watch my step here because yeah. My health insurance isn't exactly set up to take care of me. All right, so um, one of the things for the pre-drywall, once again, we focus on everything, but we particularly focus on these LVLs. These are load members, for example. This is the garage, so we want to make sure our LVLs are properly uh, supported and straightened, not damaged, because this is supporting the entire uh, closet area structure. So we want to make sure that's good to go. We check for these things right here. These are called nail guards. They protect the wires, um, the electrical wires, so if you were to uh, nail something in, you won't hit a wire. Same things for plumbing. Um, so we come through, we make sure our studs are nice and straight. We wanna make sure our seals are good, nice and secure. Once again, this is LVL, so we wanna make sure that it's properly supported structurally. Um, and then we have these, what's called joist hangers. And we want to make sure those are attached properly and that they have all fasteners and the fasteners are not loose and damaged. Um, going over here, just do a quick walkthrough. Make sure our plumbing is good. Once again, we got the nail guards for the plumbing. Nail guards for the plumbing, and that's important. You know, you can imagine hitting a nail through a pipe. That wouldn't be a very good thing. Um, so yeah, so we go through and then one thing we do check for that there's heating source in every uh, level of space. So your bedrooms and stuff like that, you got you have to have a heating source. Make sure our rough thing is good. These are, are what called manufactured truss. We want to make sure that the web, which is which is the uh, the webs are not damaged and the cords, the cords are the bottom part. That's the real structural part. We got to make sure that those are not warped, twisted or damaged. So. Everything goes together with a home. So from top to bottom, everything has to work together. Um, and yeah, once again, make sure our flashing is good. This is our rough end for our electrical right here. So we check the rough end, make sure the wires are good, all your nail guards, 
and we make sure that we have our ground wire in the crawl space our grounding wire connects to a uh, a grounding rod so that's where if there's a surge it'll go to the rod the rod the older homes we used to ground it to copper pipe our pipe nowadays are actually plastic which is PEX or CPVC this CPVC so we can't ground it to plastic so now you have to have a grounding rod um, so that's just some some of the things we look for as a, a um, pre drywall home inspection very important catch it early this home was actually, this building was actually pretty good. Not a lot of major things. We did have some um, defects, but you definitely want to invest the money um, to get your, 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 your pre-drywall and your home inspection. I'm doing tons of home inspections where people wave, stuff like that. I'm getting major foundation cracks, and um, it's an it's a investment between four and 600 bucks that could cost you tens of thousands later on okay very good so talk to us a little bit about radon and i know that radon is not necessarily something that a lot of people think about but uh we know that you are certified to uh do radon testing is that correct right so is radon recommended for new construction as well or how would that work new old it doesn't matter if the house is on a basement slab radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer it doesn't matter if it's basement slab so radon deviates pretty much from uranium not breaking down enough and it's just a gas you can have high radon level right here and not have high radon level there so it's a uh, it's just something that comes from pretty much the earth's core just in layman's term right and you just want to make sure that you don't have high levels because that is once again the second leading cause of cancer so it doesn't matter if it's new construction old construction basement slab condos it's it's just where that particular parcel is located on earth if that level has radon our region does have higher levels of radon you can actually google radon gas in virginia and it will show you a map just an estimate of showing which levels are higher it's based on an average but even with that being said you want to get that um checked out for your own um peace of mind and to not get particularly cancer so I was surprised how few buyers actually get radon inspections done here. And I was, I was curious, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, I let all of my buyers know in writing what radon is and how it's important and why they should consider getting a radon inspection. But please share with us what percentage of buyers here locally you believe actually get a radon inspection done. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. Yeah, less than 1%. Incredible. That is so sad because it can kill you. It's a carcinogen. It can kill you. Um, so I actually started doing home inspections in um, Nashville. So in Nashville, radon was, um, it, was, it, was it was widely known. And um, actually when I'm doing home inspection in Northern Virginia, it's definitely known there. So it's just an education tool. We have to do for our area for our, both buyers and reels. Let them know, hey, this is a real thing and just get it tested. Um, so just educate the public more, let them know, hey, this is a real thing. If we're going to throw on a mask for COVID, right. we got to make sure that <laughs> we're going to make sure that our home where we're at 90% of the time is safe and, and we just don't get cancer. Okay, very good. Now, in closing, this is our pre drywall inspection. What is the next recommended inspection for new construction? When do you come back uh, and, and look at the house again? So, so we will come back once, um, once the builders say everything's finished, we're good to go, drywall and everything. So we'll come back uh, once, once they have everything finished, drywall up, plumbing installed, and they say it's good to go. Um, just like anything, so the reason why we have nail guards and all these things, because what if you have someone who installed drywall wrong, installed appliances wrong, um, some rough thin pipe got damaged. So you, so you typically want to get the pre-drywall the finished inspection then after the client moves in at the 10 month mark you want to get the one year warranty inspection because every uh home moves so you want to make sure once everything settles everything going on that is just um nail pops and cracks like that it's just normal stuff and not anything that would indicate major structural movement. very good well i want to thank you for a couple uh, of things number one for giving my clients excellent service number two for educating me because i learned so much when i listen to you and i watch you and uh, it just makes me help my people much better so thank you for the service you provide i'm going to put your contact information 
uh, below in the uh, information section. So if someone needs to reach out to you, uh, they can do so. And um, is there anything else that's uh, important? Uh, one thing that I always tell my clients uh, is you don't know what you don't know. You don't. So even if you are already a homeowner, if you have a crawl space, you want to be be looking in your crawl space and attic minimum every three to six months. That's okay. the most problems happen in crawl space and attic, and it detects of major issues and maintenance. We coming up on change of weather, weather strip your doors, your windows, stuff like that. Change them filters, guys. Every yeah. thirty days, you don't need the expensive filter to get the most flimsiest filter you can find and change them every thirty days. Those things like that will actually keep your major components flowing properly so maintenance upkeep look in your attic look in your crawl space you may be surprised what you'll find wonderful thank you sir we appreciate you we're gonna walk on over here and sign out and uh hope you have a great evening all right thank you sir all right well ladies and gentlemen you heard it uh, that is excellent information good tips for you you now know what happens during a home inspection in new construction very good information if you have questions about new construction or resale or selling your home or rent to own or any of that good stuff you make sure you give me a call max williams 804-402-778 i can reach you on facebook under richmond area foreclosures on youtube under my name max williams realtor thanks so much for taking the tour y'all be safe be sure to comment like and subscribe have a great day